Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer on Ezos Empires, ready to bring you a match from Golden League 2, third stage, the off meta combat, where the top four best sieves for all the maps in the tournament are banned by the top players. So, we have here on Canal, GUA on blue with the Mongols and Simtom on the yellow with the Mongols as well. And Canal is a very interesting map. I think it's a good map. Uh, I, don't, I didn't play it a lot, so I can't really say. I, I, I've seen it sometimes and I think it's good. It, it provides good gameplay because like you can go for fishing, but you, it's not like you depend on the fishing because it's not much to start with. And then you have four sacred sites. You have a lot of relics. You have a lot of space. It's not because there is some maps where you like you lose one part of them. Like the pit is like that. You, your enemy goes through one side. It's over, or almost over. I think this map allows for a lot of uh, mobility and versatility, and I like that. And it's a good old Mongol mirror. So you have to see how our players will be approaching. No early fishing, because I think they both want to go for the spears first, then for the docks. In terms of spawn, this uh, uh, GUA, I think it has a better spawn, closer to the OVU, closer to the gold. Uh, Symptom did choose to go way back or to way back to the wood line. Uh, but GUA as well, I think it's just, yeah, it's just the spawn is better for GUA, because the gold is near, it's, everything is near for him. But it also means that uh, Symptom has a bigger base, while GUA doesn't have a lot of space to build, if you think about it. The scouts, the scouts on the cans are going here, going, doing good, doing well. And this is the first match between these two players. So don't forget to check the other matches next. They'll be here on the channel as well. And remind yourself that EGCTV is the host of this tournament and they are streaming this as well on their Twitch channel. Saturdays and Sundays 15 GMT and I stream as well on my own Twitch channel. I do both I play and I cast as well. So Symptom is going for aging up first. Wait, GUA has no. It's not close to that. What you doing, GUA? One spear, three spears, Symptom, zero spears, four spear wait, four. Oh yeah, he made another one. What is... Okay. Very silent. You can only hear the water. There is no music. What the hell? But... Where will you attack? Everything is under the TC, right? Archery range immediately dropped by Symptom. Immediately. GUA needs to age up recently or soon. Oh, okay, that's tough. Ovo being targeted down. Deer stones will be. Wait, where are you going? The market is there. Not the deer stones, the silver tree. What? Okay. More spears from GUA. Our archer is already out. GUA cannot finish this.
Tear stones for GUA. I, I don't understand what to sim Oh, it's a trade trick. Yeah, I understand now. Good action here. A lot of spears. Mm, I think, like, when it was one archer, all these spears could gang up on the archer, no? No, it's not a trade trick. Otherwise, he'll be super close to the market. He's making his own uh, trade line. Oh, no, no, no. It is a trade trick. He's coming close to the market now. Or he's putting it there. I don't know. Spear goes down. Still six on the field. Oh, now two horsemen. Yeah, easy. This will be very easy for Sim for give you GA to repel. Yeah, I think Simpton is taking a very. Um, I know it is a trade trick. A very passive approach. He's not going for Mangidai. Interesting approach. Oh, but the Magidai will destroy these, yes. And they will be able to run away from the horsemen pretty easily. But the Khan will see that. Trader coming out. He knows. And there we go. It's the. Bro. I, why isn't the trade trick banned? It's so easy. Like, bro, it's very easy to see. And it's very easy to report as well. I don't know why it's not banned. Because it's in the game. Who cares? It's it's. I think it's not the right thing to do. Oh, what? Let's go! Raid it! Raid it! Raid it! Spear, be careful! There's a town center in there. Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Be careful. I, I, I. All right, this guy is look, looking to defend the traders, but I think the horseman will be the good harassment. The horseman will be hard to defend. You need your own horsemen. Here they go. Uh, are the Mega Dai the same speed as horsemen? Once no, I think they're slower. Horsemen are way yeah, yeah, they're slower. So by you walking with a Mega you're making your horsemen slower. Oh, that's a good attack force by G Way. Mega Dai defending. <laughs> yeah, this is good for Jiwei. Jiwei doing good pressure. That's on fire. Is it really? Yes, it is. It's not being repaired, but that will really go down. Jiwei base chilling. Nice. And once you wait, destroys the Ovu, this is a Mongol mirror. Symptom is in really bad spot. He can't double produce and his enemy can, so. And he can't mine stone. Nice. Yeah, horseman chill. I can see the number of traders. One, two. Oh, nice. Jiwei putting the outpost there. Just to kill. Oh, we have a bit of an invasion. Oh, 
Oh, man, you die picking two fields now. Yeah, but horseman number are just too great. And remember, GUA can double produce. <laughs> Symptom cannot double produce anymore. He could build here. Ah, the thing that's too far away. Let's see. Oh, because the next stone is still inside of uh, GUA's base. And remember, this river works as a natural wall. I oh, know. I think you can pass there, though. It looks really tough for Simtom. <laughs> now the outpost will kill the traders. Oh, Jiwei is losing some forces, but here they go. The main force coming in. Mangudai not doing anything. Because you need a mass of Mangudai, right? To really work them out. What is that? A market. Oh, he wants to put it like here. All right. Where are you going? Oh, Jiwei already got six villagers. That's very good. Oh, and both players now fishing. I didn't realize that. Oh, but Jiwei started first. Jiwei already had three boats. Sim yeah, Symptom is just behind. It's so tough now. Spears. Defending. The market will still take a, t a long time to reach. Where are the horsemen for GUA? He had like a lot of them. Oh, here you go. Ooh, burning the other Ovu, man. That's tough. The other Ovu is like out here in the open. Why would you. Why would you make it here, though? Yeah, this is GG. This is GG. GUA will win this one. I'm super sure about it. I mean, Symptom is, is amassing some. Um, Mangy die. But the thing is, GUA already has horsemen, like 9, right? So, it will be easy countered there. Getting some villagers though, that's good. Getting 4 villagers so far. <laughs> Demo sheep takes care of that, well done GUA. Jiwei <laughs> still, I know that's the Karn, but it does oblige the villagers to move away from the goal. Horseman looking to burn down the boat, I don't think that's the best option. That's GG, the Karn has been killed for Jiwei. Okay, the market is finally set up. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> and the Symptom has everybody on, on wood because he wants to go for the... Oh, but that will be GG! Once he finish this, he has that tree and then that's it. You can't do anything else. You have to go into the map and you can't. Yeah, no army. Only three men you die, one spear, one horseman. Lost nine fields. Which well, some were some traders, I guess. What can he do now? Not much. The hoof will be burned down again. I, I, yeah, you just kill that. Easy. Okay, if some spears come... GG gets called. Alright. Yeah, it, it was just... 
you, you go for trade, your enemy is already has spears, he doesn't go for trade, he denies your trade, you go for units that he's already countered, he has a horseman, you go you keep going for Meng, you die. It's especially on a mirror match, you lose your Ovu super early on. GG, GG.